kids. How you boys doing? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. I think that's in very bad taste. I'm gonna make another breakfast hour video right now, but uh, this shit probably gonna be like so different, like really different. Because I really don't have that much to talk about. But, um... I bought a PS Vita. Yep, bought a PS Vita. And it came with the PlayStation Plus. The year membership. And, uh... Uncharted, Golden Abyss, Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush is actually a really good game. I'm not gonna lie. I actually do like that shit. The whole just floating around and... Dropping back down to the rocks and shit. I actually do like it. I haven't gotten that far into the game, but I do like it. But yeah, I bought a PS Vita. Hold on one second. Here go the PS Vita that I bought. Here it is. Yeah, man, it's pretty cool, man. There's Gravity Rush, you can see it. And uh, Assassin's Creed. And also PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. I bought it on the PS3, and if you buy it here, they have a cross-buy. So you buy it here, you can just download it to the PS Vita. So this game badass, too. I'm not going to lie, it's badass. And here's the Assassin's Creed Liberation cover. It's pretty badass. Um, I like it though, man. I, I didn't think that I was gonna like the uh, the handheld system, but I actually do like it. It's, it's pretty cool, you know. When I be at school or you know at work, being bored and shit, sitting behind my computer, I just pull this bad boy out and then I play it. And then one of those fucking students will ask me a question about how to change the font or to change the color or something then I have to stand up and be annoyed but hey it pays my bills so I can't really complain and uh, this is the camera that I bought uh, Nikon Coolpix S9050 I like it I like it man I think it has better quality of video so uh, I think it does anyway. Y'all can tell me if you don't think so. And if you don't think so, fuck you. But uh, I like it though. You know, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if I have that much to talk about. But you know, so J.J. Abrams is directing the uh, Star Wars movie. I didn't just find this out, but I just decided to talk about it. Uh, I think that's a good look for him. You know, I really do think that's a good look for him. I I'm not tripping about it. I am kind of shocked because I remember at one point he said he didn't want to do it, you know, but uh, I guess he changed his mind, you know, to be a part of the legendary franchise, you know, that is Star Wars. That's a great honor, you know. I don't know if I would want to have that, you know, specific uh, burden fall on my shoulders, but, you know, that's 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 good for him, though. It's, it's good for him, man. You know, his movies don't disappoint, so. I think the only one at this point was Cloverfield, and he was a producer, so I can't even really give him shit for that. I didn't like Cloverfield, but I can't really give him shit for that. That would be a tad. Just watch the anime. Well, I've only watched uh, two episodes, but uh, it's called um, C4 Control. I like it, though. So far, I like it, though, man. It's uh, I think Funimation did it. Well, I, I know Funimation did it. Just by the voices, well, by the, vo the American voice actors, I can tell there's a... Funimation dub, but uh, yeah, I think it's only 12 episodes, 11 or 12 episodes, I haven't even really looked the series up, only thing I know about the series is that, um, like, I think the Jap well, the Japanese government had some financial crisis or some shit, and they were, uh, they were uh, saved from it by this thing called the Sovereign Wealth Fund, and uh, even though they saved them from the financial crisis, their world, you know, the Japanese people in their town and shit, it's still like high unemployment, it's still like suicide, you know, still crime, it's just all fucked up or whatever. 
And so this dude named Kimmy Morrow, he was like, he wanted to kind of just change the world. You know, he just wanted to get in, he was a scholarship student. He's 19 years old. He wanted to uh, just change the world, you know, just, just, he just wanted to change it and he just wanted to live a stable, ordinary life and just get away from everything and change his own world. And then uh, he was approached by this man and then he was like, uh, pretty much like, I give you some money. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we have to hold your future as collateral. And he was like, all right, whatever. But then he uh, gets taken to this realm called the Financial District. And he got to, like, fight in these tournaments called deals in order to keep the money that they gave him and avoid losing his future. So it's kind of weird. If you've ever seen Future Diaries, it's kind of in a way like that. In a small way, it's kind of like that. But uh, this anime is just... I mean, like I said, I've only seen two episodes. You know, but from what I've seen, it's visually appealing. And it's just weird enough to pique my interest, you know. I like weird shit, so it was weird enough to uh, to pique my um, particular interest. So, so uh, check it out. What y'all think about um, video games and shit. Dead Space 3 and, you know, Bioshock infinite uh, uh god of war ascension what do y'all think about those man y'all y'all ready to pre-order some games are y'all ready because i've already pre-ordered god of war i knew i was gonna get god of war ascension so that shit's already taken care of uh dead space 3 i think i might get it you know on the planet that's full of necromorphs that's gonna be cool i think i might get that you know i had dead space 2 i don't remember what i did with it but i had dead space 2 so, I think that'll be cool. That that should be like fun. I said though, man. I, I didn't really have that much shit to talk about, honestly. So, this is probably gonna be the shortest breakfast time video I've done in a while. But Sebastian Saint Pete, man, signing out. I'm at 195 subscribers, man. I can't wait to get to 200. I'm gonna make a video thanking all 200 of my subscribers when I finally do get it, man. So if you could push that subscribe button, tell your friends about me, you know. If you want to add me on Facebook and stuff, you can just do that. Still Vash St. Pete. You want to add me on Twitter, you can do that. Vash St. Pete with a zero. Um, yeah, man, you can just hit me up, man. You guys just want to add me on the PlayStation Network, add me on the Xbox, let me know, man. And I will send you my information. I'll send you my Xbox. i send you my PlayStation, man. We can just, you know, play some games. You can get your ass whooped and anything that you want. You know, just let me know, man. If you guys just want to add me personally on Facebook, it's uh, Marcus Stefan, S-T-E-F-A-N, Taylor. You know, you can just add me on there, man. You know, get some chat going, whatever. We can talk about anything, sports and shit. Super Bowl coming up, who you guys like. We can talk about anything that you want, man, you know. So uh, just let me know. Talk about what it's like to live in the South or wherever you guys from. You can tell me what it's like to live there because I have not been out the South, really. So you can just tell me that. And, uh, yeah, man, just, just hit everything up, man. If you want to just know some stuff about me, man, just hit me up or whatever. I'll do that, man. And, uh, like I said, this is Sebastian IP, and I'm signing out.